All right, so I've been very vocal about my opinions on various martial arts. I've trash-talked Krav Maga very thoroughly, as I should, because it's stupid. The American Krav Maga, at least. I've trash-talked uh, 52 blocks, being very respectful of it, because I respect the system, but I've trash-talked it and gotten a lot of responses about it that were hateful. I've also gotten uh, hateful comments about trash-talking other martial arts throughout the years. So let's not leave Muay Thai out of it. You want to know my real opinion about Muay Thai? Will, what's your opinion on Muay Thai? What is it? I'll tell you. I got nothing bad to say about it. It's fucking awesome martial art. I think everybody should train Muay Thai. I think every single individual who wants to learn how to fight, really learn how to fight, should definitely train Muay Thai for at least a little while. I trained Muay Thai for, I don't know, three years or something like that. Well, I remember when I first walked into my first Muay Thai class, I was uh, I was thinking, you know, it's kickboxing. Like I've been doing reality-based combatives for like years and years. I know how to elbow. I know how to do all this stuff. Like ain't no thing. I'll go into sparring. I'll box with these guys. No problem. Hoppa! I got hit with a round kick to the face real quick. Man, I was humbled. Okay. I was humbled over and over and over and over again in Muay Thai. Because these guys, let me tell you something. It's not just the kicky feet. It's the freaking everything, man. I mean, they put it all together and they fight. That's the thing about it. When you come at Muay Thai, you can't be coming in there too aggressive if you like have never really done hard sparring. Now, the place that I went, AMA Fight Club, I studied under Khan Sok Sor Poloi. Okay, I believe that's the way. I studied with the guy for years and years. And even after those three years or so that I spent with him at his gym, I trained after the pandemic, during the pandemic with him. So I've trained with him for many years. Um, and I still don't really know how to say his full name, like correctly, but I believe it's con socks or ploy. Look him up on YouTube. The guy's like world-class champion Muay Thai dude. I took many private lessons with the dude. I respect him freaking immensely. Um, I am really proud to say that I got, I think it was my green armband from him. Okay. So I think I started with the yellow one and then I got a green one and I think I was training for like the blue one or something. I don't know. And then the fucking pandemic happened. And that was honestly that for Muay Thai for me. I trained with him a little bit after that. Anyway, you guys aren't here to hear about my bullshit Muay Thai stories. I'm going to tell you this. I love this system. And I'm thinking about going back to it because I want to train more stand-up. I've been doing mostly grappling over the past year or so. I want to get back into it because it's so fucking effective. Now, you got... Everything you need in the Muay Thai, okay? You got takedowns, which they call sweeps. You got clinching. They got a lot of clinch work, guys. Let me tell you something. You want to get good at trapping and, and clinching and shit? Muay Thai is your place to go. You want to get good at fucking street fighting? Muay Thai is your place, all right? Yeah, you go to like whatever. Whatever reality-based combative system you study, you got, you got elbows and you maybe learn this one and maybe you even learn this one. Uh, they got like six... And they all like have sub variants of those, right? You got the, uh, what is it? Like the spine fish and you got all of them. Fucking tons of elbows for days, son. You got the rear black elbow, and the spinning back elbow. You got, you want knees? You want knee strikes? They got them, dude. They got all kinds of knee strikes. They got the flying bicycle knee strike. They got the regular clinch knee strike. They got the freaking uh, like lean back offensive knee strike. They got, they got all kinds. They got the, the freaking knee strike into the, into the side of the leg, into the freaking uh, pressure point there. They got every, they got all kinds of knee strikes. You get laid out by these guys with their knee strikes. And I've been laid out with their knee strikes. It's not fun. All right. Talk about takedowns. Holy shit, guys. Their takedowns are like amazing. And let me tell you something. I've been fucked up from their takedowns. Okay. I used to spar with this one dude and I'll leave his name out of it. And I'll leave his description out of it too. He was a, he was a hardcore dude. He's one of those dudes that you don't like to train with because he hurts people. But I was training with him, and I was fucking, I don't know, I threw something, and bah, he got me uh, with, like, just a solid fucking takedown. And boom, down I go. I injured my back. I was out for, like, a month. And then other times I was doing takedowns. I've got slammed down. I've gotten, gotten fucked up a number of times from their takedowns. And you know the funny part about it is that was on a nice, soft mat. So if I had been out there on the street running my mouth about some stupid shit and some Muay Thai guy decided he didn't like it, I'll put you bah. Down you go on the pavement, over and out, son, you're done, okay? And especially if the dude knows other shit besides Muay Thai, or if he, like, 
takes it to a street level where he throws you down and then starts kicking you with his kicky feet in your fucking head. Huh, you're done. You're done, son. It's over and out. Muay Thai is an extremely freaking effective martial art. Make sure you go to a place that is going to let you do um, some harder sparring as well as, you know, like that Dutch light tap sparring. Now, let's talk for a minute about sparring with Muay Thai. Now, people come in. I've seen it over and over. I've seen uh, fresh guys come in. And when we start sparring, they go, wah, wah, wah. And they're trying to take your head off. But that's actually very impolite. And if you go against like a Muay Thai fighter, like a Muay Thai, uh, I don't want to say fighter because a fighter would just like knock you out. But if you go against somebody who's been doing Muay Thai for a while and had a couple of fights on them uh, under the belt, it's actually really rude. All right. You don't do that because guys who fight get hit in the head enough as it is. So, yeah, they will go hard in sparring, but not as much as you would think. It's actually a way more polite system um, of sparring than like jujitsu, for example. Now, jujitsu is a very polite system of sparring, no matter where, um, depending on where you go. But uh, it's actually the sparring is a little bit rougher and harder. And most gyms that you're going to go into, in my opinion, uh, it's a lot of Dutch sparring with Muay Thai. And yeah, like you're going to get hurt. I've had actually more injuries from Muay Thai than I have from Jiu Jitsu. So don't take it lightly. But at the same time, it's going to make you tougher. It's going to give you more um, realizations about fighting than like you would ever get in some bullshit Krav Maga fucking place. All right. I'm telling you for a fact. And the funny part about it is I went and got my Krav Maga instructor certifications. All of the sparring, all of the sparring that they had us do during those two weeks was basically Muay Thai. Like, it's funny because you put the pads on. Um, what did they have us do? Like, glove up. I don't know if they had us wear headgear or not. I forget. But it literally turned into, like, freaking Muay Thai. Guys were throwing round kicks. Guys were, like, boxing. They weren't doing any of their Krav Maga. Okay? it wasn't. It wasn't the type of thing where, like, you would win or lose. It was just the type of thing to like show you how to like, I don't know. It was supposed to show you that Krav Maga was effective, but it really just showed you that like Muay Thai was probably way more effective. So that's my thing about Muay Thai guys. It's the freaking best system for stand up that you could probably study. I mean, is boxing great? Yes, absolutely. You should be studying Western boxing. You should also be studying Muay Thai. Now, Will, I gotta know, what's your beef with Muay Thai? Like you said, you might have... I don't have a beef with Muay Thai, but the only thing is the round kicks that they do, and most of the kicks that they do, besides the teeth, the front kick, I, I don't personally use them. Um, not a lot, at least, because I'm unflexible. <laughs> I'm 36 years old, and I work out with weights a lot. I'm just not fucking too flexible, okay? And then I, I sit at the desk a lot, too. I'm just not, like, I'm not Johnny Appleseed, 19-year-old kid anymore, so... That's the only thing. Like when I when I spar Muay Thai, when I when I why did I sound why did I sound English when I said that? When I spar Muay Thai, um, these days it's a lot more clenching, it's a lot more defense against these kicks than anything else, right? Um, so it's a lot more checking of kicks, it's a lot more lean back, it's a it's a lot more of that stuff. Now, when I was in my prime of Muay Thai, I used to throw around kicks a lot, but I still never liked them. Okay, I just feel like. For the street, you could throw a round kick and it'll definitely fuck somebody up if you've been training it a lot, right? And especially if you're a bigger dude. Like you land that in someone's uh rib cage or even in their like legs, like yeah, it'll definitely get them good. Like it'll definitely hurt them. But uh just for me personally, that's not the way I like to fight. Um I've also I don't know, I also just feel like you can definitely catch those kicks if you're good. I, I don't like them personally. Will I throw them? I mean, if the if the freaking opportunity is there, I will take it, but um, to each his own, right? And I came up RBC, jiu-jitsu, uh, other shit, Wing Tong, and, you know, um, but let's not leave out uh, uh, JKD. I spent a lot of time doing that type of stuff. So throwing the round kicks just personally to me is not something I like to do a lot, but uh, I don't have anything against them, and especially if you're good, if you know how to fake and then throw that round kick and all that, so you could you could fuck dudes up all day with that. Um, and the high kicks, right? Like the the high face kicks. Yeah, I've gotten like knocked on my freaking ass from like high head kicks. They all get you good. Um, I don't throw them because again, I'm not flexible enough. But 
you know, every time I throw a high head kick, like I fucking pull something and I'm like, ow. So <laughs> I don't, but that's not to say that they're bad, especially if you are younger, if you are more flexible, if you're a chick, like those kicks, if you practice them and you get good at delivering them the right way and like practical combinations of them, which you will learn at Muay Thai, it will fucking wipe the floor with people, guys. It, it really will. It really will. And I've, you know, I've fucked around with like other guys that, that do other arts, right? And I've done Muay Thai against it and it's just highly effective. Um, I used to, I used to go, I would do jujitsu, then I would spar Muay Thai, then I would do Wing Chun all in the same night. It was like three, three and a half hours of training per night. And uh, I would go into the Wing Chun class after sparring and sometimes we'd roll, right? That's what they call it. But, you know, we do, um, what is it? Sticky hands and all that. And then sometimes the instructor really liked it because I was doing MMA and he says, well, fight this dude. He's been doing Wing Chun 10 years. Um, just spar with him. And so I do the sparring and I just like, I, it's not because I'm a tough guy. I want you to just know this. I would steamroll him because he only had studied Wing Chun. But if he had been studying other stuff, the guy would be very, you know, he was a good fighter and everything. But it, what I'm meaning to say with that is a guy who studies Muay Thai, uh, Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu specifically, will uh will steamroll over many 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 martial arts just not fair you guys ever seen that uh it man movie i think it was it man three where he's uh he's got to fight the boxer the english like prick boxer well if you look at that movie like the prick boxer like wipes the floor with every style of kung fu except it man because it man's the man right it man's the legend he has to win but that's just the way it is um these specific styles of mixed martial arts and martial arts and self-defense that I always recommend have proven themselves time and time and time again. And I get a lot of flack for it. I really, really do. I get a lot of flack for, oh, well, you know, you know, you just say that bullshit because you're in the MMA cult. Well, like, fuck, I didn't sign up for any cult. I just know what's good. I know what works. I've been studying martial arts for like 18 years now. I've devoted the better part of my life over half my life, is it, fuck, has it been over half my life? Yes, it's been over half my life that I've dedicated to the, studying the arts of self-defense, warfare, and freaking how to defend yourself against crazed lunatics because I don't like people getting bullied or victim that I want you guys to study the real shit so that you don't go out there thinking, I know Krav Maga, God, you get hit and you go down and then you get rocked in the face by a bunch of savages. I don't want that. I want you to study the real shit. And I'm not going to try to like, I don't know. I'm not going to try to take advantage of anybody out there that wants to learn self-defense. You want to learn it, you got to fight. You got to bleed for that shit. You got to go through injuries, all right? You got to knock people out. And I'm not saying you go out there on the streets and knock people out, but I'm saying you got to learn how it feels to like hit a motherfucker in the face and like really mean it and really like want to hurt him or yeah, him generally. <laughs> Unless you're a chick, then hurt her, I guess, right? But anyway, that's that's my opinion of Muay Thai. I think it's one of the best things you could possibly do for yourself. Spend a couple of years doing it. Spend a year doing it. Fuck, whatever. Um, and then do some grappling, and you'll be all set. Oh, box on the side. Box, box, do it, okay? Go out there and fight and feel what it means to get hit in the face so that you're not afraid of it. Feel what it means. To hit somebody else and mean it so that you're not afraid of it feel what it means to get thrown to the ground and then learn to throw somebody else to the ground so they don't do it back to you again. All right, guys, until next time, please remember that you are your first and last line of defense. Check out our website, go to fightingsecrets.com. We got all kinds of great World War II base combatives over there that you can learn online. Forget about it. It's fucking easy.